I'm Joe Kirshner with American Water College. Watch as I use my five-step approach to solve this problem. We're going to calculate the cubic yards removed from a trench. And the problem reads, how many cubic yards of dirt will be removed from a trench that measures 750 feet long, 2 feet wide, and 4 feet deep? Well, we're going to use our five-step approach to solve this. And step one has us pulling out the information that they gave us in the problem. So what did they tell us? We're looking for cubic yards of dirt, and it's 750 feet long, 2 feet wide, and 4 feet deep. So let's write all that down. We're looking for cubic yards, and then our length and width and depth are 750 feet, 2 feet, and 4 feet. That's step one. Step two, we're going to select a formula. Now in this course, you have math flashcards. This formula is given, and this is a formula you should know. You should have this memorized. And the formula for calculating this volume is length times width times depth. We don't need to do step three. Step three is where we would rearrange this formula if, for example, they gave us the total volume and we were looking for either the length, the width, or the depth. We don't need to rearrange this formula since it's set up for volume, which is what we're looking for. So we'll go to step four, which is where we plug in the numbers and do the math. So our volume will equal our length times our width times our depth, which is 750 times two times four. When we crunch those on our calculator, we come up with 6,000 cubic feet. Okay, so a foot times a foot times a foot will give us cubic feet. Well, notice we don't want cubic feet. We want cubic yards. Okay, so we're going to have to do one more step, and we're going to do step five, where we convert our cubic feet to cubic yards. And in those flashcards I talked about, there's an equivalent that says one cubic yard is equivalent to 27 cubic feet. You'll want to remember that. So doing our unit conversion... We load in our 6,000 cubic feet, and then we load in the equivalent that says there's 27 cubic feet for every one cubic yard. And that allows our cubic feet to divide out, leaves us with cubic yards, which is what we're looking for. So now I simply take the 6,000 and divide it by 27. And that gives me 222 cubic yards. So in this type of problem, you want to make sure that you're, you got the right units. Okay, the question wanted cubic yards. We initially calculated cubic feet. It's likely that there will be a 6,000 number. Um, it'll say 6,000 cubic yards. They're trying to trick you there. You don't want to fall for that. So just make sure that your units are the correct units. If they're not, simply convert them. If you need additional help preparing for a state license exam, Click the link below and we'll get you some more information about our license-specific exam prep courses.